we are discussing about chapter number 13 which is motion and time motion and time we are taking question answers on that the first is classify the following as motion along a straight line this is straight line circular or oscillatory so motion of your hand is oscillatory motion of horse pulling a cart on a straight road is straight motion motion of a child in a merry-go-round is circular motion of a child on a seesaw seesaw is like this it goes like this you know the moment the movement is like this so it's oscillatory motion of the hammer of an electric bell this is we'll see and motion of a train on a straight bridge so this is straightforward motion of a train on a straight bridge is straight so oscillatory straight circular oscillatory and the motion of the hammer of an electric bell is oscillatory motion and of course the straight bridge train moving is straight line motion which of the following are not correct the basic unit of time is second so this is correct every object moves with a constant speed no if you are in a hurry you will walk faster or you will run so this is not correct distances between two cities are measured in kilometers yes the time period of a given pendulum is not constant this is not correct it has to be constant that is why you will have a constant time a speed of a train is expressed in meter per hour no it should be kilometer per hour a sim simple pendulum takes 32 seconds this is the time being given to complete 20 oscillations so these are the number of oscillations let me write it nos what is the time period of the pendulum so time period is equal to total time divided by the number of oscillation as in the question given that total time is 32 and number of oscillation are 20 divide them we'll get 1.6 so this will be 1.6 seconds the distance between two stations is 240 kilometer a train takes four hours to cover this distance calculate the speed of the train now one one formula you have to remember always you know in for later classes also later exams also so speed is equal to distance upon time this is very important so speed equal to distance by time distance is 240 kilometer and train is four hours so it would be 240 by 4 and 460 so it will be 60 kilometer an hour an odometer odometer deals with the speed computation calculation so the odometer of a car reads this much when the clock shows time 8:30 a.m what is the distance moved by the car if at 8:50 a.m the odometer shows this reading so this 8:30 and 8:50 that means 20 minutes have elapsed and this is the distance uh, the difference of these two distance or these two readings are the distance being traveled so we have to calculate the speed of the car in kilometer per minute this is very important you know we have to change the unit also express the speed in kilometer per hour so again we have to change the unit into kilometer an hour so speed equal to distance by time that we will be using directly but what is the distance distance is the difference between the higher one and lower one because this is the distance traveled say if you are here in two here uh, say at two kilometer mark and in 20 minutes you move 40 uh, four kilometer so four minus two is the two kilometer distance you have traveled same similarly the logic will apply here so we'll take the difference this is the distance you have traveled now 830 to 850 that means 20 minutes so you can have 20 minutes you can change it into hour so you you know that in one hour there are 60 minutes so you have to divide 20 by 60 that you that way you get 20 by 60 1 by 3 hour so speed equal to distance by time 50 kilometer and 20 minute which we have computed because we want it in kilometer per minute but when we want it in hour kilometer per hour so the time taken we are going to use 1 by 3 hour instead of 20 minutes so 15 by 1 by 3 3 goes up 15 into 3 is 45 kilometer an hour Salma takes 15 minutes 
her house to school on a bicycle. Speed of her cycle is 2 meter per second. We have to calculate the distance between her house and the school. So here the speed is 2 meter per second and we know that in 15 minutes we in uh, one hour we have uh, 60 minutes and in one minute there are 60 seconds. So in order to change the minute into second we have to multiply this 15 by 15 to 60. So we get 900 and so the dis distance of course speed equal to distance by time. So distance will be speed into time. So speed into time speed is this much time is this much multiply 1800 meter. So that will be if you divide it by 1000 you get it in, in kilometer because in one kilometer there are 1000 meter so 1.8 kilometer is the answer show the shape of the distance time graph for the motion of the following cases so a car moving with the constant speed so constant speed is like this the distance the, the time the distance uh, traveled so constantly and uh, a car side a car parked on the ro road side that means it is not moving so the speed will be constant with time so this is the uh, actual graph this is a car moving with constant speed so this is the time this is the distance this is constant and uh, because with time there is no change in the distance so it, it remains constant so there will be a straight line which of the following relation is correct as i suggested you earlier speed equal to distance by time so this has to be correct second is the correct, correct one others others are not fulfilling the criteria the basic unit of speed is its meter per second. A car moves with a speed of 40 km an hour for 50 minutes and then with a speed of 60 km an hour for the next 15 minutes. So the total distance covered by car. So for first distance D1, it travels for 15 minutes 40 km an hour. Then this D2 distance 60 km an hour, an hour 15 minutes again. So we will compute D1 and D2 and then we will add them. So speed equal to distance by time. We know the distance will be speed into time. In the first case we will multiply these two and then we will multiply these two and then add. So in the first case this is 40 km an hour but the time is in minutes so we need to change it into hour. So we will divide 50 by 15 by 60 because we know in one hour there are 60 minutes. So we have to divide it. So 15 by 60. Then we will multiply speed into time as I suggested you here. So it will be 40 into 15 by 60 that will be 10 km. For the second uh, part the speed is 60 km an hour 15 minute we will change it to 15 by 60 hour. Multiply them you get 15 km we have to add these two. So this will be 25 km. Suppose the two photographs which are shown here has been taken at an interval of 10 seconds. So the interval is 10 seconds that is the time is given to us which is 10 seconds. If a distance of 100 meter is shown by 1 centimeter. So because the marking is given so from here to here this is 2, 2 centimeter. So 2 centimeter, 1 centimeter is 100 meter. So 2 centimeter will be 2 into 100 that is 200 meter. Calculate the speed. So speed equal to distance by time. What we are going to do here is the distance covered as I suggested because this is 2 cm so it will be 2 into 100, 200 meter time taken is already given 10 seconds. speed is distance by time so 200 by 10 that is 20 meter per second. This uh, figure shows the distance time graph for the motion of two vehicles A and B which one of them is moving faster. See for this particular time say this time if you match it with the distance the distance traveled by A is more than the distance traveled by B. That is why A is moving faster. So vehicle A is traveling longer distance in less time as compared to B. So vehicle A is moving faster. Which of the following distance time graph shows a truck moving with a speed which is not constant. So here the truck is standing. Here it has a constant speed, constant speed. And here we have the thing that means this is not a straight line that that means it shows a truck moving with the speed which is not constant. 
So these are the question and answer on motion and time. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.